All right, looks like our timer's a little delayed, but good morning and welcome to this week's coffee break. I am Brandon Pappas and I have Leslie View with me to talk about fault detection and diagnostics. All right, thank you. All right, well, uh, as Brandon said, I'm Leslie View. I'm the uh, Analytics and Energy Manager at Long Building Technologies. And I'm here to talk about how you could utilize an expert technician prioritizing your needs 24 seven and just exactly how you could do that. Uh, first off, let's talk about how building operations and maintenance is this constant balancing act. Uh, not only do we have to balance comfort and keep it, keep systems operational and also look after the bottom line, but often those things are in conflict with one another. Uh, additionally, balancing reactive responses with a lot of the proactive planning can actually help with that. According to publications and surveys and official studies, um, I've heard the statistic that more than 55% of building maintenance tasks are reactive and more than 40% of occupants are dissatisfied with comfort in this case. And finally, over 80% of equipment fails for non-age related reasons before their time. So these are definitely some lofty challenges to overcome when we're talking about tight budgets and challenges finding and keeping and training employees and vendors in this industry. So the goal is to provide more proactive service because that even though there's a little bit higher initial cost and investment, uh, the long-term ongoing costs uh, are, are lower for your building and for your uh, facilities. And so what we're showing here is where we've come from at long and the impact driven services that we provide and how we've transitioned from the traditional task based maintenance to impact driven services and and where we're headed now even further is to this condition based maintenance and that's how we're going to uh, try to be more proactive uh, without overwhelming budgets for the facilities teams that work in the buildings so the industry knows that this is coming. In fact, the industry predicts that the maintenance market is expected to grow from 6 billion this year to over 45 billion in the next 10 years. Most facility managers or maintenance technicians are aware that the massive amounts of uh, data that a building automation system can provide is extremely helpful in troubleshooting or optimizing your HVAC system. Uh, but proactively sitting in front of the automation system, looking at all of the things you see here on your screen, including graphics and alarm pages and programming and learning different programming languages and looking at the, the controls drawings and looking at the mechanical design and comparing all of these things in order to search for patterns or problems. Uh, that's really time consuming and really difficult not to mention how hard it can be to then actually determine what the action should be taken to resolve these issues or to determine if the action taken actually did resolve the issue. Though it's proactive, this is data overload, not scalable and not sustainable for your team or mine. Luckily, we have fault detection and diagnostics. And this has been around for a while, uh, but now we're at the point where fault detection and diagnostics and analytics systems are extremely helpful. Uh, fault detection and diagnostics, or FDD, is an analytics software um, that uses your existing building automation system data and streams thousands of equipment data continuously and then prioritizes the highest impact issues across your building or portfolio. Quality FDD will also provide root cause diagnostics, which helps your team reduce the time it takes to get to that investigation and, and get to that corrective action quicker. So in the quest for moving, for, moving towards that condition-based maintenance ideal that we showed in the previous slides, uh, FDD is really that critical tool. Not only 
does the system identify, the system that we use identifies the accurate diagnostics really quickly, but it, one of the biggest uh, benefits is that it points you to the root cause diagnostics right away. It's gonna give you two to five of the most likely reasons for a problem. So your technician doesn't have to spend as much time troubleshooting. Uh, everything is, is handed to them much quick, quicker, which leaves a lot more time then to actually implement that action plan. Additionally, uh, the built-in task management tool helps, uh, helps track all of those tasks through completion and ensure that it's getting done. The second benefit is that um, the FDD system allows automatic checks to be performed on all of these systems so that your maintenance staff or, or the clients that you're working with or the service provider you're working with don't have to do as many of those manual maintenance checks. It's being checked now multiple times every day instead of maybe once a quarter or once a year. Uh, additionally, the diagnostics, the way it works, is it checks all of the components and it also checks the cross system functionality, it understands the hierarchy of your building and your systems. And so it's able to compare and look at all of these um, diagnostics and tests and then determine uh, and summarize what the issue it is that it found instead of alerting you on every little detail. Um, and then more importantly, I think, and getting uh, on being able to take action on and prioritize is that the system can provide a list of those top tasks and they're prioritized based on actual quantified impact. You can see um, this is quantifying it by cost, but you can also sort by energy, comfort or maintenance issues. And instead of just having a laundry list of a million problems, you're able to quickly see the things that are most important to your facility or to your client's facility and determine where to hit the ground running with, with all the troubleshooting that's already been prepared um, and then dig in quickly for the things that have the most impact and, and most affect your customer. Finally, uh, the third benefit is that you actually have data now validating the work performed in the field. You know, if sometimes you'll see a task is completed, but you kind of wonder, well, was the issue really fixed? How do I know? Do I feel more comfortable? And if it wasn't, we need the system to tell us. And that's exactly what we can do with fault detection and diagnostic. Not only is it valuable to ensure that the performance is being done correctly, but it's also a training opportunity for those less experienced technicians, maybe on facilities management teams or up and coming technicians in the industry, because they can learn how to fix the issue better the first time with the diagnostics. But even if it wasn't fixed perfectly, uh, they then know that and then they can uh, get some training and determine how to actually resolve the problem. And that's been a really important benefit that we've seen. Uh, many organizations are bringing on those less skilled technicians and giving them this expert technician in the background that's monitoring everything 24 seven just speaks into the capabilities of existing technicians and really pairs them uh, and trains them for success. But as they say, even with all those great ideals, the proof is really in the pudding. Um, we're letting the system and data tell us what's wrong with it, as we talked about in the last few slides, but we're also letting that system show us the results and improvements. Uh, right now, Long has over 50 real client results already that we're tracking to prove that we can constantly improve the effectiveness of our actions. And as you can see here, what I'm showing is that um, this is kind of a before and after and so you can see that in this case, for this one client, we've completed 26 tasks over the past year, and of or we've created 26 tasks. And of that 26, we've got 24 completed tasks, and that has delivered about $12,000 in annual savings. And you can see some of those other metrics here. And then on the left and right, we're showing the actual some of the actual faults that we're tracking. We can also track comfort, 
and maintenance and energy scores and show improvement over time. And, and the goal is to you know, reduce the faults, improve the energy savings and improve the comfort and maintenance and reliability of the equipment. So Wong is committed to providing this top-notch service by using fault detection and diagnostics, as you've seen here, using that expert technician in combination with our great technicians to achieve more proactive condition-based maintenance with our impact-driven service. If you'd like to see more in-depth demo of the actual platform, you're uh, welcome to reach out to your long salesperson um, or directly to our analytics team. We provide pretty regular demo, demos. Um, we have some scheduled in our long uh, customer training base for our uh, controls clients, but we'd be happy to set up something if you're interested in seeing more as well. Awesome. Thank you, Leslie. Um, and as a reminder, this will be our last coffee break for the year, and we'll be back up and running on January 5th, where Travis Cowan will be presenting on Excel energy rebate opportunities. The long team wishes everyone a great end of the year. Thank you.